my loving people. I have always so conducted myself that under God, my strength and safety lies in the loyal hearts and goodwill of my subjects. So I come amongst you, at, come this amongst time, you at this time, not for, my not for my recreation, but being resolved in the midst and heat of battle to live or die amongst you all, to lay down for my God and for my kingdom and my people, my honor and my blood, even in the dust. I know. I have the body of a weak and feeble woman. But I have the heart and stomach of a king. And a king of England, too. And I think foul scorn that Spain or any prince of Europe should dare to invade the borders of my realm. To which, rather than face that dishonor, I will myself take up arms beside you. I will be your general and your rewarder for your virtues in the field. We know that you already deserve rewards and crowns. And we do assure you, in the word of a prince, they shall be paid to you. And take heed too of my lieutenant general. For no prince ever commanded a more worthy or noble subject as he. By your obedience to him, by your valor in battle, we shall yet win a famous victory over these enemies of God, on my kingdom, and on my people! Yeah!